The other day I was watching YouTube on my wife's S20 FE. I wanted to go ahead and minimize YouTube and I got picture in picture. And then I went on my Pixel 6, I put on YouTube and I tried to activate picture in picture and I wasn't able to. And we already know that on the iPhone, Google is beginning to roll out picture in picture for YouTube. But the question that I have as a Google Pixel 6 owner, shouldn't I be getting the new and the best features of Google services and applications on my Google made device? And it doesn't make sense for Samsung to be getting these features before I do. And I think that there's a bigger overall problem that we have to talk about. But first, my name is Mitchell. I'm fluent in tech, so you don't need to be. If you guys like videos about Samsung or pixels or just tech in general, things like cameras and cell phones and stuff, go ahead, smash the subscribe button. So this video isn't specifically about picture in picture in Samsung cell phones. It's not even really about the fact that the new S22 is gonna get four years of Google updates and Android updates while my Pixel isn't. This is about Google asserting their dominance as the makers of Android and giving their Android phones that they make the best features and the best user experience. Now we already see Google playing favorites with the new update for the S22. The stock messages app on the S22 is going to be Google messages. And we see that Google is giving companies like Samsung the priority in Wear OS so that all of the Samsung wearables have the new Wear OS, Tizen OS, unified operating system. And that means that all of the Samsung wearables are going to run better. We also see that Google has adopted Samsung from the manufacturing of its Tensor SoC. Is Google relying too much on Samsung? Now, I wanna go ahead and illustrate for you, the viewer, which might be American, might not be American, how dominant Samsung is in America. Because in America, it's iPhone, or do you have a Galaxy? The amount of people that actually have pixels is pretty small. And although OnePlus tried to break into the Western market on carriers like T-Mobile and tried to put OnePlus devices in stores, people just associate Samsung with Android. And it seems as if, and correct me if I could be wrong in the comments, but Google is bending over backwards to play nice with Samsung because of the home turf being America. See, Google launched their Pixel devices, focusing on the American market and not having a full international global launch. But in the American market, where Samsung is the most dominant, Samsung is giving users more reasons to buy Samsung phones then Google is giving users to buy Google phones. And Android is made by Google. Samsung also has tons of carrier subsidations in stores so that more people can get Samsung devices at a lower price. And while Google has some of this, Samsung is just dominant in this space. And I'm beginning to fear that the best Android experience in the future is going to be on Samsung. We see that Google's attempt with the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro was to create an iPhone-like user experience that was really stripped down, especially in settings and custom little finite tweaks on the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 XL. 
Whereas with Samsung's operating system, they do limit those types of things. But if you want to dive deeper into more sub menus, you can still do that. And I don't know how successful Google is going to be in getting Samsung users, users that like the version of Android that they are buying with a Samsung device. I don't know if those users are going to love the Android experience on a Pixel device. And I think that this entire effort by Google to make hardware is supremely important because Google is able to change, tailor, and make the Android experience because Google makes the software and the hardware and Google can tailor Android for the hardware that they have available. I wanted to put this rant out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'm gonna be out of town this week on a vacation. And until next time, it's been Mitchell, peace.